welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad you guys are joining us today. I'm glad I got invited back. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about parenting during the pandemic. It's got to be talked about because as you all know, we had a life-changing moment right before the pandemic. So I think we have to talk about it. So are you ready? Oh, well. I mean, I'm in it, so. <laughs> it's got to get done. Whether I'm ready for it or not. <laughs> but before we dive into it, hey, you what are you waiting it. for? I mean, subscribe, comment, like, follow, listen. We are just wanting to open up our home um, and just kind of go on this journey with you all um, as we continue to grow. So click that button and um, join the family, the unstoppable, join the family. All right. That's it. Okay. So let's get started. So a lot of people have been asking us, how are you guys doing? And I think before we answer the question, you should answer, why are they asking us that? Uh, we got three kids. <laughs> I mean, right, that's really, that's, that's it. Three kids under three now. We uh, Our oldest just turned two on the sixth. Mm -hmm. And so he is, um, yeah, a full-fledged two-year-old, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the terrific twos. And uh, we are, uh, you know, just in the throes of that. And uh, so, yeah, we have three kids under two, and the girls will be turning nine months in a few days, and their personalities are starting to show. To show. Mm -hmm. And uh, help us, Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how That's, are we doing? How are we doing? That's the question. It depends on when you ask me. <laughs> it depends on when? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, if you catch me in the middle of the day, <laughs> when feeding and trying to get work done and whatnot I'd be like ah, I'm here <laughs> if you catch me after 6 30 though <laughs> my answer is almost always they sleep <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it works yeah and one of the things we do want to highlight is what has been working and what are some challenges that we have um, faced? And so, um, what's working? Scheduling. Uh, having the kids on a schedule that is predictable. I wish I could give some echo effect to that word, like predictable schedule for the kids. Um, I emphasize that because if you're a parent, you have likely been told the same thing that we were told, that putting your kids on a predictable schedule is impossible and should not be attempted um, some people but i would say in general the consensus that i sensed that i heard was the not expecting a schedule really to work um, just kind of well and and i think also <clears throat> defining that schedule not only yeah. for the kids in terms of when they wake up yeah. uh, when they're getting their snack when they're going for a nap yeah. when are they waking up again and we're having lunch, yeah. and then we're having playtime, and then we're having dinner, and we start the bedtime routine. So all of that for us has a set time. Yeah. And um, that's something that was developed based on our um, one of the books that we followed was yeah. Baby Wise, Becoming Baby Wise. Oh, becoming Baby Wise, um, yeah. Which for us has been a lifesaver, okay? Absolutely, it, absolutely. It has saved us, and I'm so glad that we did it with Vaughn to begin with, our son. Um, and honestly, because if we did not set a schedule for him, I don't imagine what life would be like uh, now and then trying to actually set a schedule okay. for the girls and tr and then Vaughn as well. Yeah, it can, so. it's, it's stressful. Mm -hmm. And so naturally wanting to be like, man, forget y'all, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm done. Or moments when son is throwing a tantrum and uh, the girls are also screaming because they hear their brother screaming. And so, yeah, like 
those are natural moments, at least for me as a male that is growing in emotional wellness and health. Uh, I naturally want to just check out. I'm just naturally wanting to check out emotionally first and physically also. <laughs> so, uh, being in those moments are, are, are teaching moments. And uh, yeah, so it's, 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 it's awesome to, to, to be <laughs> in the, I'm in the throes of learning this thing. And so I definitely have respect uh, more for my mother, um, my wife, and uh, all the mothers that do this. And uh, so many have embraced this. I guess this isn't really this conversation as the sole responsibility of the mother. And and, and, and so just to, to get involved in it, it's, it's really character building, character building and, and a part of that development that I believe is necessary for both parents. And I believe it's necessary for both parents. So yeah, scheduling has, scheduling the time of this thing has uh, been huge. The other thing that's been working, I think is communication. Um, we spend a lot more time together at home and that can go sideways real quick. <laughs> and so our ability to communicate is has been clutch, has been clutch. And then, but then we also have to say like, for us, it's not just been the pandemic because when I found out I was expecting the twins, oh, yeah, honestly, our, I feel like our quarantine life started, started after this in first July. July. Uh, probably a little late. August? Yeah, after the first trimester. Of 2019. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, a, I was on bed rest of sorts. Yeah. And so from July, uh, most, August, August yeah. um, 2019 to now, uh, yeah. we have been spending a lot of time together. And uh, so yeah, if, if it wasn't working, it would be. Yeah, we'd be out the game. <laughs> Yeah, real talk, real talk. So, communication has saved our lives. Yeah. Um, um, and that has been has been critical. And going back to like you're saying, communication. I think when you have those moments like Victor shared about, where you are, you're in it and it's real, and you just want to be like, I want to check out mentally. I want to check out physically, um, because the two of us are in tune with one another we can sense that and so there are times where i've had those moments and victor will come and say hey let me relieve you of this and that give you your time and your space and um, I've, I've done that a few times too where I've like, oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so i don't want to make stuff up right um it's but being being yeah. in tune with um how the other's feeling and mm. and stepping in to help the other now there will be times where we're both like depleted, yeah. and so it's just like, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, uh, you're you <laughs> you're not it. on your own, but um, I'm right there with you, so we're gonna <laughs> suffer through this together. Some challenges that we feel we've been experiencing during this time, <laughs> we are experiencing yeah. during this time yes. i think i'm saying the same thing that we've been experiencing and we are experiencing okay yeah that's true <laughs> no i'm not i'm not no i'm not, <laughs> I'm not passing no, um, no, you're right you are it's the same thing i would say we're adjusting adjusting from one to three kids is um is a challenge it's overwhelming it is. It really is, y'all. Um, Over. But I think Victor and I are two people who we just it's it's one of those things like, well, it's gotta be done. And that can be a that can be a positive and that can also be a negative. It's a positive in that like you just go hands on, like, well, it's gotta be done. Like who's gonna do it? But I think in the process of it's got to be done, you can forget to take care of like yourself emotionally, to be in tune with what, how is this affecting you emotionally? Um, so that's the overwhelming part um, is that 
as we are parenting, we're also in charge of our own individual lives, but also in charge of marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a lot taking moments um, to accept the overwhelm. The state of being overwhelmed is something I frequently have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Just to just pause and say, okay, we're going to get through this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's 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 definitely an adjustment. I think alongside with that, another challenge is reinventing ourselves. Um, I don't know if it was spoken about enough as father, new father, the level of reinvention that I would go through, mm-hmm. um, and who I was. Of course, it was talked about before marriage. Like I definitely got it a lot. Before we got married, it's like, oh man, it's a whole new game now. And I don't think it was spoken about enough mm-hmm. entering into parenthood. So I feel at some level it, it has caught me blindside. And so I, I feel like the I'm becoming a whole new person. And the transition of that I, I sense is going to be an ongoing and ever changing one but uh, has been the, cur- the, the, the learning curve has been steep mm-hmm. and and then in that reinvention one of the things that we we talked about is and this was even after we got married and just the adjustment of when we got married it wasn't just Wendy Victor it was now Wendy and Victor and so I get with married with parenting the same thing where now it's not just the two of us, we now have children that are have joined this family and now we're all trying to navigate through that. One of the things that has to happen is grieving what was in order to fully move on to the new life that you have. And yeah, that's hard. And that is hard. And I think it's really necessary. It's, it's one thing that we are learning, that it's necessary to grieve the life that you had before. And sometimes people get turned off by that, like, well, are you saying you don't like what where you are? Or, no, it's not. It's a reality that... You just ain't going back to it. I'm not going back to that. And some people can adjust like that. But for for us, it's, it's taking... It's taking um, time. It's taking time. And... We would never, we, we were even saying like, we think about our old life. <laughs> and, I don't remember in part. But, but then you can't imagine life without, yeah. without the kids. I remember moments before them. I remember like significant moments mm-hmm. before them, but like, but it's just like, I can't remember what day to day was like. Yeah. yeah it's, and it's, it's, almost, it's a new reality. It's from my memory um, at some level. <laughs> and it's so scary. you are, it is. Yeah, it's it is scary. scary. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> oh my God. I got it. Like the MIB joint, like something, some sci fi joint happened. It's like, man, this joint went sci fi. No. This was But real. that's real, All though. Right. That's what happens when you go through stress, stressful situations yeah, trauma. Um, and trauma. And this is. Yo, it's, it's what it is. It is trauma. <laughs> we are not being negative. We are just going to be real with y'all. It's traumatic, the change that has happened, and the rate at which it has happened yeah, um, yeah. has been something that has has been unexpected. And so you, ha- you find people going through that where, like what we just explained, where you go through a traumatic experience and you can't remember all the details all the details of what uh, was in the past and so grieving that reality um, not with a a longing to want to go back but with an awareness that this is where I am and where I am is is a rewarding place um, and growing through that yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's fair as well to say that there are moments where you're like, man, <laughs> I could have taken a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, I think that's kids. normal. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's normal too. I mean, we waited what was it four four and a half years, and so yeah. and 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 yeah. there are days where we're like, well, maybe we could have gotten a little longer, maybe you know? We so. 
<laughs> you know um, so for us yeah we, we have yeah. those moments but yeah. um, being able to reinvent yeah. is really really important because um, like Victor said it's not only our lives individu- individually I'm reinventing Wendy Victor's reinventing Victor but we're also reinventing our marriage um, all the while inventing and reinventing parenting yeah um, there's so many so many things at play and sometimes that can be the overwhelming part of it is that so many things are taking place at the same time so while I'm um, scheduling I'm also adjusting while I'm adjusting I'm also reinventing so it can it can definitely be overwhelming um, and this is why the pandemic it, it can and it is it is <laughs> Okay, now I see the difference. Yeah, okay. It, it just okay. is. It is. It is it, a little. It just is. Um, but so yes, reinventing. Yeah. What else? Um, mastering self discipline. Yeah, that's. Ooh. Yeah, this is an ongoing gut check. Absolutely. And uh, parenting has exposed the shortcomings of our self discipline. Mm-hmm. And. Um, we're actually going through, I guess you could say, a crash course of it right now. Self discipline, that's and, right. And uh, self discipline and and deepening this for not only for dealing with the reality of our of our adventure, but also for teaching it, uh, teaching it forward mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. to our children as well. So mm-hmm. it's a ongoing journey, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's a challenge. So. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, last but not least, I guess I'd say the, the pandemic. I mean, I guess it kind of goes what, without saying kind of preaching to the choir. Uh, so, but yeah, the pandemic is a, is a challenge. Ah, we left you hanging. But hey, you just finished part one. There's part two. So make sure to tune in so you can be able to watch and listen to part two as we continue our discussion on parenting during the pandemic. And there's a little sneak peek for you guys to enjoy, but make sure you come back so you can watch part two. Thank you guys for tuning in. Say what you Stop. are about to say. <laughs> oh, goodness. Before you wreck the home. Yeah, so you got to see us. Stop. <laughs>